seven of pentacles in reverse because if you keep doing things the way that you've always done them you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten and that's what death is about that's what that transformation is about the world in reverse that's what that blockage is are you pisces going to continue to do things the way that you've always done them to get what you've always gotten or do you want something different if you're cool with the bullshit that you got going on, then by all means, have at it. Because here it comes again. But if you want different from your life, you have to change something. Eight of Swords in reverse. Get out of your head. Stop manifesting this into your life. Get a new perspective to the Two of Pentacles and balance yourself out to the Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Stop being stuck and step into the power of the Empress. Hey, Pisces, and Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's up? What's up? I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Come on in. Sit down at the table. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Put your feet up. Snuggle up. Put your earbuds in. Cast it up on a big screen if you want to. But come on in and let's throw down some cards for Pisces. Been exciting, right? New moon in Pisces, Pisces season, Pisces birthdays. Happy birthday, Pisces. All kinds of good stuff for Pisces happening. Let's see what the cards have to say, what you need to look forward to, what you need to look out for, and most importantly, how do you navigate the coming situations and circumstances of your life for your best and highest good? That's what we want to find out here today, Pisces. All right. Well, you know, I might be a Taurus sun, but I'm a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. So I have a vested interest in how these cards come out. So I'd like to see what the heck is going on for the general population of Pisces. Wherever Pisces placement is in your chart, that's where this might affect you. Okay, let's do it. All right, so it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle, I'm going to pray, I'm going to lay out all the cards. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you while I clarify it and sew together a story. If the clarification process gets too time consuming, I will fast forward to that particular portion of the video and pick up right where we left off, all right? All right, you guys, you snuggled up, you ready to go? Let's do it. So give me just a second to channel and center myself and we will throw down for Pisces, all right? Let's do it. Spirit. Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me. Spirit and Pisces wants to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces? And what do they need to know about themselves, their life, and their journey? Spirit, please tell me where the stopping point is for Pisces. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top. Spirit, please give me the eyes to see, the ears to hear and the understanding to explain. All right, well, let's go. <laughs> that card wants to go. I'm just going to leave it right there, right? Let's go. One, two, three. Two and three. Two of wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Fear of the unknown, possibly something that's not meant to go into the future. All right, let me get these lined up for y'all. First card out is the devil in reverse. Devil in reverse is about releasing limiting beliefs or detaching from some kind of toxicity. The Six of Pentacles in reverse, talking about greed, selfishness, one-sided, not sharing in prosperity. The Six of Wands, victory, progress, success, strength in reverse, some kind of weakness or some kind of thing that you need to deal with. I'm going to have to push this camera back a little bit. There we go. Can you all see those? Okay. Okay. Oh, now I'm all shrimpy. King of Wands in reverse. Egocentric, self-centered, ego-centered, um, ruthless, queen of swords, some kind of truth, honesty, decision, communication, the moon in reverse, releasing fears. Um, dealing with some repressed emotions, coming to terms with some things. Four of Wands in the center of your spread. This is um, contentment, peace, stability, structure, possibly in a relational setting. The Eight of Wands, movement, action, change, 
possibly communication, the Hierophant, some kind of commitment. The King of Pentacles in reverse, domineering, controlling, someone who used to hold title but doesn't, someone that is super insecure to the King of Cups in the upright feelings, um, honest and fair in your feelings, um, emotions, deep emotions, love. The Hermit, Soul Searching. The Princess of Swords, possibly communication, possibly a new way of thinking. The Nine of Wands, Resilience, Persistence, Pushing Through, Fighting Through the Star. Purposeful Connection, Divine uh, Guidance. King of Swords, Some Truth. Seven of Pentacles in Reverse. If you keep doing it the way you always done it, you're always going to get what you always done got. <laughs> Eight of Swords in Reverse, New Perspective. Okay. New perspective to the two of pentacles, prioritization, stuck, empress, right on, right on, right on. Let's see, we got the three of pentacles in reverse, the sun, the nine of swords in reverse, the seven of swords, the five of pentacles in reverse, Aha, the wheel of fortune. All right, we'll stop with that. Okay, whoa, let's see. You know what? These fell out weird. I just want to look at them real quick. Okay. All right. Let's make some sense out of all this, shall we? Shall we? Whoa. I got way too many decks sitting around here. I don't use half of them. I only use these two. That's all I ever use. Sometimes I'll use those if I want a clear perspective about something, but nevertheless, I digress. All right, let's get into these cards right here. So a couple things you should know about me. Um, I have a tendency to be a little bit irreverent, so if that bothers you, then it's probably not the place for you to be. I read the way that I read, and I'll give a shit if you like it or not. Smoke my vape. Don't want to hear no bullshit in the comments. Live your life. Let me live mine. Okay? All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. So the devil in reverse. First card out sets the tone for the whole reading. This is detachment from toxicity. It is releasing some kind of limiting beliefs. What is this about, spirit? What is the devil in reverse about exactly? The ace of pentacles. So detaching from toxicity, releasing some kind of limiting beliefs so you can manifest new opportunity to the Ace of Wands. Inspired, passionate, new beginnings. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Empress, the Five of Wands in the world in reverse. Okay. So inspired new beginnings, Empress, that's you, I think, standing in your power. The five of wands talking about conflict, competition, the world in reverse, some kind of a blockage. Hmm. All right. As always, Pisces, I cannot stress enough. The only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. All right, Pisces, this is what's going on right here. Okay. This is what's going on. So, oh, it's a little squished. So, 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 so. The devil in reverse, right? First card out sets the tone for the entire reading. What is this about? It's about, it's about uncaging yourself and releasing yourself from limiting beliefs. And that is going to make sense to you here in a second, okay? Ace of Pentacles. There is new opportunity and new manifestation coming towards you. The Ace of Wands. It's an inspired, passionate, inspiration-filled moment. The Empress. To handle this beautiful moment, this manifestation of new prosperity, this manifestation of, of new fire in your step, you're going to have to position yourself as the Empress. Why? Well, the Empress is lesson number three of the major arcana. Lesson number one is the magician. I preach this to my clients constantly, all the time. Number one is the magician, 
right? Where your mind goes, your reality follows. Your thoughts create your reality and whatever it is that you dwell upon is what becomes your life. Okay. The Empress understands that and she controls her thoughts. Lesson number two is the Empress. The Empress, um, lesson number two, lesson number two is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is the intuition constantly leading you in the direction that you need to go constantly and following it and trusting it and believing it. The Empress, lesson number three, takes those two concepts into herself and she pays attention to her thoughts and she understands when her intuition is speaking to her. In order for you to be available for the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, you're going to need to be on point. You're going to need to be very receptive. You're going to need to follow your intuition and you're going to have to focus on where your mind goes because where your mind goes, your reality follows. What's the problem here? Well, the Five of Wands, there is some kind of conflict that is going to be presented to you, okay? Some kind of conflict to the world in reverse. And this conflict, how you handle this conflict is going to dictate whether you repeat a life cycle, the whole major arcana, right? Every single lesson, do you need to go back and repeat it all in the same context or have you learned and you can move forward? That's what this conflict that's going to happen in your life, or perhaps it already has happened. This is a general reading. I don't even know who the hell I'm reading for, right? The only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read, period, bottom line, okay? So there's a blockage. How you handle this conflict may or may not block your progression, okay? Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is the lack of giving and receiving or sharing in prosperity. It's about greed, debt, materialism. It's about somebody taking away your prosperity or people that you are involved with um, hijacking your prosperity somehow, some way, okay? The, the root of this, I asked, is the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Movement, action, change towards a great deal of success quickly. Death comes on top of this and talks about an absolute ending to, I believe, the limiting beliefs in that devil in reverse. An absolute ending to the way that it was and a transformation into the way that it will be from now on. Okay, that's what death is about. So you have some kind of giving and receiving that is not quite right. And Spirit says how you handle this, how you handle this conflict is going to dictate whether you enter into a new cycle or not. But there needs to be death to an old way and a beginning to a new way. And that's going to be revealed in just a second. So hold on. So the Six of Wands, victory, progress, success. The Eight of Wands, movement, action, change. The Ten of Pentacles, success, foundation, future, money, security. The Empress, right? All of this is trying to come your way, but you have to release some kind of limiting belief. And a conflicting situation is going to put you in a position where you're either going to grow or you're going to regress, okay? Um, yeah. So the strength in reverse. Strength in reverse is a lack of courage, a lack of strength. How do we get courage and strength? Well, we identify what is holding us back and we conquer it, right? Uh, fear and all, we, we do it. That's how we gain courage. In the reverse, you're not facing something. Ten of Wands talks about a burden and a struggle. The Queen of Swords talks about some kind of responsible, clear decision-making process. Eight of Swords all tied up in your head. Why the Empress in, re I'm sorry, the High Priestess in reverse? Because you're ignoring your intuition about something. Okay. That's why this conflict is going to make or break you over here because your intuition is telling you one way. The Empress would follow that intuition, but your ego is telling you another way. 
And that's the conflict. What path are you going to choose? What's going on here? Well, there is someone coming in to your uh, energy field, Pisces. Someone. It's a king of wands in reverse. It's an egocentric, self-centered person. And I think part of this death process and the releasing of limiting beliefs is, are you going to fall for it? Because <laughs> I think this king of wands in reverse is maybe your type of person. Okay. Maybe it's a bad boy or a dominant bad girl. But there's something in this person that is tempting to you. And it is a repetitive cycle of your life that you're either going to learn from now or you're going to repeat. Seven of Cups in reverse says this person is diversionary tactics to your growth and your well-being. The wheel in reverse. This person is a blockage to your life and to divine orchestration. Ten of Pentacles. Spirit's trying to take you towards some kind of permanence, insecurity, happiness, identity. They're trying to take you to where it is you want to be. And then this person shows up, whether it's from the past or a new person, this person shows up and you have to make a decision and a choice as to whether you are going, because your gut knows, your intuition knows with that high priestess in reverse, your intuition knows that this person is bad news for your life. Mm -hmm. And you're doing good and spirits, you're, you're walking a good path and spirits making things pop in your life. And then this person shows up. Queen of Swords. You have to be crystal, crystal clear. Can you guys see this stuff? You have to be crystal, crystal clear about what it is you do in this particular situation. The star says, lean on your knowledge of the higher power. Lean on your understanding that there is an intelligence that knows the end game that you don't. That's why your intuition is talking to you, but your ego wants to ignore the intuition because there's something about this person that um, does it for you. But it does it for you because it's an old behavior pattern. Okay? Four of Pentacles in reverse says protect yourself. From what? The King of Wands in reverse. This egocentric, self-centered type that's coming towards you. Okay? The Moon in reverse. Moon in reverse is coming to terms with the struggle. It's coming to terms with things. The Moon in the upright is the internal struggle with the subconscious. When we struggle with the subconscious, what are we struggling against? Well, it's what we know that we know, and it's everything else trying to talk us out of it or get a different angle about things. That's the classic struggle of the subconscious. With the moon in reverse, you are coming to terms with that struggle. To the seven of wands in reverse, coming to terms with that struggle, um, it was an overwhelming struggle at that. Tell me about this seven of wands in reverse. Yep. King of swords, right? Putting down the boundaries, laying the line down, making responsible decisions for your future. And the knight of wands going out of this spread, talking about taking inspired action to keep on track and keep doing what it is that you're doing because this particular type of person um, is bad news for you and you know that and you want to change. This isn't the kind of relationship that you want anymore. The four of wands in the center of the reading. What you want is peace and contentment, stability and structure. Eight of Wands talks about movement, action, and change, and the Hierophant to some towards, towards, towards some kind of relationship or obligation. I can't say as far as commitment, right? Four of Wands is clarified by the Two of Cups. You think that looks all great and everything, right? You think it does. 
right? Peace, contentment, harmony, long-term relationship, two of cups, love relationship, eight of wands, movement, action, change in the Hierophant. It was sliding into commitment, but it's not, okay? That's what this king of wands in reverse wants you to think, okay? He wants you to, he wants this with you, but what's in your best interest should be at the top of your priority list, okay? So all this looks great, and quite frankly, it's happening kind of fast with that Eight of Wands. It is, and you're looking at this, and you're like, wow, this is maybe everything I ever wanted, but it's with the King of Wands in reverse, Pisces. Don't ignore yourself. Six of Swords, get the hell out of Dodge. To the Page of Wands in reverse, it is nothing but delays. The Emperor in reverse, King of Wands in reverse twice and the Emperor in reverse. This person is at their root, an egocentric, self-centered person. They're domineering. They're controlling. They have childlike temper issues. They have jealousy. They are, they at their root of this person is not a good person. Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's going to set you off balance and it's going to screw everything up to the fool. Head in a different direction. New beginning, new journey, different direction. Choose not to engage with this specific type of person that apparently you're super attracted to. Try not to date your mother or your father. Try not to rectify your childhood by dating either of your parents because you think you can love them or save them or make things different in a way that the broken kid inside of you thinks that it should be. No. Come to terms with reality, with the King of Swords, of why you do what you do, why you're attracted to the people that you're attracted to, and recognize that this love situation that's coming towards you is not in your best interest. And choose consciously, cognitively, to release limiting beliefs. What's that? I can change anything about my past by trying to create it in my future. I mean, come on. For real, though? The fool. Go. Head out. Go in a different direction. Why? Well, right here. That's why. Can you guys see this? No, you can't even see that. Hold on. Because of the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse is telling you that this person can't be your King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. That's the domestic partnership of the tarot, right? This person can't be that. Not only that, but this card also denotes controlling, domineering, unsuccessful energy. And the King of Wands in reverse can't ever be a successful King of Pentacles. They're not cut from the cloth that the King of Pentacles is cut from. This person can't be your King of Pentacles. But look at you, Pisces, coming in with the King of Cups and saying, but I can love them. I can love them enough to help them be a good King of Pentacles. No, you can't. They're not sewn from the threads of a King of Pentacles. You can bleach it. You can dye it. You can iron it. You can shrink it. You can cut it up, but it's still the same threads. You ain't changing the threads that this person is sewn from. And the bottom line is, is that they cannot be your King of Pentacles. They're going to take you off track and they're going to point you in a direction that is not of your best and highest good. And if you go in that direction, you're going to be succumbing to your ego and not to your intuition. And therefore spirit goes, all right, free will. Don't touch it. She's, he is executing their free will. We can't touch it. Set yourself up, Pisces. Hermit card says, come sit with me and let's talk about this. Let's talk. Please, let's talk. To the three of swords, see what kind of grief and sorrow this is going to bring to your life. To the tower, see what this is going to cause. It's going to put you right back into the same cycle that you're supposed to be getting out of. You're supposed to be learning something. And if you go with this person, you're not. And if you don't, you are. The Hermit in reverse, withdraw your energy from this situation, the Moon in reverse, and come to terms with your bullshit. Princess of Swords to the Nine of Wands. Resilience, persistence, the Princess of Swords communication. This person is going to be resilient and persistent. 
Page of Cups in reverse says don't create. Six of Cups in reverse says it's unrealistic to create a Six of Cups environment with somebody who can't be your King of Pentacles. To the sun, see things clearly. Spirit is trying to lead you in the direction that you need to go. They are. Hence the star. This is an understanding that there is an intelligence that knows the end game that you don't. And they're always trying to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good through your intuition. But you're ignoring your intuition here. Or you have a propensity to ignore your intuition. Understand, have hope and faith that your higher power is always leading you towards purpose. King of Swords, again, diligent, clear-minded, concise, precise decisions, seeing things for what they are. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, because if you keep doing things the way that you've always done them, you're going to continue to get what you've always gotten. And that's what death is about. That's what that transformation is about. The world in reverse, that's what that blockage is. Are you Pisces going to continue to do things the way that you've always done them to get what you've always gotten? Or do you want something different? If you're cool, with the bullshit that you got going on, then by all means, have at it. Because here it comes again. But if you want different from your life, you have to change something. Eight of Swords in reverse. Get out of your head. Stop manifesting this into your life. Get a new perspective. To the Two of Pentacles and balance yourself out. To the Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Stop being stuck and step into the power of the Empress. Step into the power of the Empress. Use your thoughts, use your intuition, and build a foundation for yourself so you can feel your way through this new cycle of your life. Because you're going to start right back at the top with the fool. Zero. Then you're going to go into lesson one. Well, how's your manifestation skills? Then you're going to go into lesson two. How's your intuition skills? Then you're going to go into lesson three. How you live in your life. Lesson four. How you build in your kingdom. Lesson five. What do you believe? Lesson six, what kind of energies do you let into your life? Lesson seven, are you doing what it is that you're supposed to do? Lesson eight, what do you need to overcome? Step into your power. To the three of pentacles in reverse, because the teamwork and the collaboration that you want with a true king of pentacles can't be had here. The sun, spirit's trying to lead you towards happiness, success, and vitality if you will just acknowledge and pay attention. Nine of Swords in reverse. They're trying to get you to see clearly that this is will turn into a very painful lesson. This relationship will end in a tower. It will. Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception, futile mindset. How about that? It's futile for you to participate in this. To the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Spiritual poverty. A lot of people say this is coming out of the cold, and I guess, you know, it could be. But the true definition of this card is either coming out of a financial bind or a state of spiritual poverty. To the wheel of fortune. Spirit says if you let them drive, they'll take you. Spirit says if, if you will participate, they will show you the way. They will make it, they'll make it easy. They're not going to give it to you, but things will be so much easier in your life. If you just let spirit show you which way to go and be conscious and cognizant of what it is you're manifesting in your mind and where it is your intuition is telling you to go. Life will be so much easier if you just pay attention to those two things alone. That'll take you through the, all the rest of the lessons of the major arcana. Cycle after cycle after cycle, building and compounding on all of these life lessons so you can grow and grow and grow and hopefully do what it is that you're supposed to be doing in some lifetime and not have to come back to this place again. Or you can just stay in the broken cycle after broken cycle after broken cycle and do the same thing over and over and over again and then say, why? Why do I attract these people? Why do I do this? Right? Do something different. Spirit's light leading you. He's, they're, they're showing you. 
the way to go, but you're ignoring it with the high priestess in reverse. There you go, Pisces. I hope this helped you. Remember, the only way to know your real journey is to have your own cards read, and that's the God's honest truth, okay? You can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com if you want me to read your cards. If not me, somebody. If you have questions about this or if this is um, pertaining to your life somehow, some way, and you want answers, don't ever base your decisions off of my general tarot card readings or anyone else's. Namaste.